Apple's apology to China's consumers on Monday has helped to douse a firestorm of customer complaints. Now the tech giant is in damage control mode and modifying its warranty and customer service policies in the Chinese mainland. Hila Iuni has more on what this could mean for the future of Apple in China. Chinese consumers finally got what they had been waiting for from Apple, and it wasn't a new gadget. The electronics giant apologized on Monday for miscommunications over warranties. In a letter, CEO Tim Cook said the company was sorry for consumers' concerns and misunderstandings and vowed to improve its warranty policies. The apology is already drawing reactions from Apple customers. I think it was important for Apple to apologize because China is one of the biggest markets and holds a lot of potential for the company. The apology was really needed because Apple provides better services in other countries than it does in China. The company also kept postponing saying sorry. Apple's apology comes amid escalating complaints in China. Earlier this month, the company was criticized over its after-sales services. The tech giant offers a one-year warranty which conflicts with Chinese law that states warranties on computer sales must be a minimum of two years. In the apology letter, Apple promised to have new warranty explanations on its Chinese site. While it's a small step, the move is being welcomed not only by consumers but retailers as well. By improving their services, Apple will give Chinese people a better understanding of their company and be better equipped to meet the needs of customers here. But while Apple has apologized and promised better communication, the question now is what action is the tech giant willing to take to boost consumer confidence and secure its place in the Chinese market? Neela Uni, CCTV, Beijing.